Hello you guys and welcome back to our channel. I just wanted to say welcome. We've had quite a few new subscribers over the last month or so and so I just wanted to say welcome and we are so glad to have you and just so thankful that people watch these videos um, at all so we just wanted to say thank you super excited about today's video um, today I just wanted to share with you guys some really simple easy ways to cozy up your home I'm always on a mission to make our home feel more cozy more peaceful more homey and I think especially as fall is coming and days are getting shorter, the weather is getting cooler. It just makes me super excited for fall. Fall is one of my favorite seasons. I love it so much. I just think it's so cozy and there's such an excitement about, you know, getting to pull out your sweaters and enjoy your hot cup of coffee. And it just gives me an even greater desire to make my home more and more cozy. So today I wanted to share with you some really simple, easy things you can do to make your home feel more homey, more cozy, more inviting for this fall season. The first thing, I have one burning back here, is candles. Um, I absolutely love candles and I think when we think about cozy fall, we think about you know lighting candles and beautiful smells and all of that and so I really love to place candles kind of all throughout my home. I really really love candlesticks and I think that they add a really beautiful kind of almost vintage element um, that's super cozy and so I have a bunch of these all over our home. I have some of these brass gold candlesticks in our room and these you can find at pretty much any thrift store. I also love adding little tea lights all over the place, especially as the days get shorter. So the mornings are darker, so lighting a candle in the morning and then in the evenings when you're sharing a meal or when you're just sitting on the couch reading a book, whatever it is. I think lighting a candle is an intentional way of kind of setting the mood and setting the tone. My next tip is to layer lots and lots of textiles. So one of my favorite ways to do this is through pillowcases. I switched out some of my lighter pillowcases that I had from the summer with this kind of chunky knit pillowcase that I believe I got from H&M. Also added this pillowcase that I actually got from Walmart and it has this beautiful stitching texture on it and it also has this really nice kind of mustard yellow color which is definitely a fall warm color. By layering up maybe more pillows than you normally would, it creates a really inviting space to sit and to cozy up. I'm also adding a few extra blankets will add a lot of just warmth to your space. And don't be afraid to mix different textures and patterns. My next tip kind of has to go with the last one with textiles, but I love using baskets to fill them with blankets and pillows. Um, this one here is from Ikea. The other thing that I love is this basket of slippers that we have sitting in our entryway. And we just place a bunch of these Ikea slippers, which again are really inexpensive. We have some in bigger sizes, smaller sizes. I use these all the time throughout our home, but it's also really inviting for when people come over and it's a bit chilly, you can offer them a pair of slippers. My fourth idea is to set up a simple coffee bar or hot chocolate bar if you're not a coffee coffee drinker. When I think about fall, I think about being really excited to cozy up with a hot cup of coffee and I love coffee. Um, so we've created this little space in our kitchen that is our little coffee bar. We have our coffee maker, we have some syrups and coffee and hot chocolate and sugar, pretty much anything you would need to make a good cup of coffee or a latte. You don't have to have a whole coffee cart in your kitchen, even if it's a small corner where you have your coffee maker and some syrups and some mugs. It's really welcoming for people that are in your home to just be able to say, hey, grab a mug, make yourself a cup of coffee, just make them feel like they're at home. They can pick their own mug. I think it also makes you excited to wake up in the morning and go make yourself a cup of coffee. Next tip is to bring some of those natural fall elements from outside into your home. When it comes to fall, I'm not huge on decorating. I don't go crazy with 
pumpkins and leaves and all of these things if you do that that's awesome um, I like to keep it a little bit more simple love to scatter a few hints of fall here and there by bringing in some really beautiful natural elements I picked up some of these small white pumpkins from our local grocery store I've seen them everywhere and um, these ones are real but I know you can also buy fake ones that you could use year after year and um, but I think these are so cute and I just have scattered them kind of all around our home the other other thing I did was I took some cinnamon sticks that I already had in my pantry and some twine and I just wrapped them up. It's a really simple, really easy thing you can do and I just set them on my coffee table and not only do they smell really delicious, but they look really cute and they add again some of that natural texture, natural kind of fall colors. The other thing I did was I went out and just picked some of these, I don't even know what you would call them. Um, they're pretty much like dried up little berries. You could also do wheat and um, I love eucalyptus anything like that I think adds a really beautiful simple fall element another way to kind of bring in the natural elements of outside is by bringing in some fall colors so you could totally bring in some orange pumpkins, some kind of mustard or rust color pillowcases. One thing that I've done this fall that I really loved is introduce some of this amber glassware into my home. So I have like this amber candle behind me. I switched out some of my lighter white pottery with some of these amber growlers and these amber glass bottles here on our nightstands. These are actually just kombucha bottles that I took the label off of um, and and so again, really inexpensive, but really beautiful. I love that deep kind of amber color. Okay, my last idea to make your home more cozy has to do with smell. So obviously candles add a really beautiful fall scent to your home. Another way to get your home smelling really good with all those fall scents is by doing a simmer pot or you might know this as stovetop potpourri. If you've never heard of this before, it's pretty much just where you take a pot of water and you put in, you can put in oranges, apples, cranberries, cinnamon cloves and you put it on your stove top and you just let it simmer throughout the day and it fills your home with a really really beautiful smell you can create so many different scents um, but it's also a really natural and clean way to scent your home I'm gonna show you a really simple easy fall blend to make your home smell delicious so for this fall simmer pot I'm just taking one orange then I just gathered some cinnamon sticks some clove and some nutmeg that I already had in my pantry. into my pot of water. I think I have about six cups of water here. I turned it on high, let it come up to a boil, and then I turned the heat way down to low, and you just leave it. Obviously, don't leave your home with your stove on, but as long as you're gonna be home, just have it simmering on your stove top. Check it every once in a while. Obviously, a lot of the water throughout the day will absorb, and so if you'd like, you can just keep adding more water, and oh my goodness, it smells so, so, so good in here. So yeah, those are some of the simple things that I've done this fall to make our home feel just more cozy and welcoming um, and inviting for us and for anyone that comes into our home. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know it was pretty simple, but you don't necessarily have to go out and buy a ton of fall decor and all these different things. But just by doing a couple simple things, it really makes your home feel more homey, I guess. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, um, we would love for you to subscribe. I wish you guys all an amazing start to fall and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.